Hi, my name is Trez, and this year I'm working with Cork Opera House to host relaxed performances of their 2024 pantomime, Cinderella. The story is centred around Cinderella, who lives with her wicked stepmother, Baroness Melania Hardup, her wicked stepsisters, Taylor and Skylar, and her best friend, Buttons. With the help of her fairy godmother, Nanny Nelly, Cinderella goes to Prince Charming's royal ball. I'll be playing the role of Fairy T, and you'll see me regularly throughout your visit. When you arrive at Cork Opera House, you'll first come into the main foyer. The main foyer has a toy shop, a cafe, the box office where you can collect your tickets, and also a sweet shop. Relaxed performances are all about creating a safe and comfortable space so that everybody can feel welcome and that everybody can enjoy this year's pantomime with their family. Cork Opera House and the actors understand that for some people to feel safe and comfortable, they need to be able to move around and they need to be able to make noise. For this reason, the show is not going to be sold at full capacity. That means that there'll be space for you to move around during the performance and it's absolutely fine if you need to make noise. Behind me, you can see one of the doors that leads into the auditorium. Let's take a look inside. This is what the auditorium will look like when you come inside. You'll be able to see the set on the stage before the show begins. And if you need to come in and out during the performance, that's absolutely fine. The house lights, which are the lights on the seats, will always stay on a little bit during the show, so it will never be completely dark. That way, you'll be able to see your way to the door. The doors also have lights above them, so that you'll be able to see your way back to the seat. If you need to bring in ear defenders or any fidget toys, you can do so. And if you have a service dog, they're more than welcome to come to watch the show with you. There are seven main characters in Cinderella. If you'd like to find some more information about them and some photos of them, you can find them in the visual guide. Now, it's good to note that the main villain in this story is the wicked stepmother, Baroness Melania Hardup. And even though she can look and act and sound a little scary at times, the actor who plays her Michael is a very, very nice person. Our story has a happy ending and lots of funny moments throughout. Let's go meet Michael now. Hi, my name's Michael Grinnell and I play Baroness Melania Hardup in this year's pantomime, Cinderella. Now the Baroness is Cinderella's wicked stepmother and she's the baddie in the panto. But she's not really a bad baddie, she's more a, a funny baddie. She's cruel to Cinderella, makes her do all the chores and stops her from going to the prince's ball. But behind the makeup, the wig and the scary voice is still me, Michael. Here, let me show you. Back in a second. Hi again. Well, here I am transformed into Baroness Hardup, thanks to our wonderful makeup artist, Maeve Reedman. As you can see, my mouth, my eyes and my face are made up. I have a new head of hair, and before I go on the stage, I put on my gloves to hide my manly hands. Now, you may hear some booing when I come on the stage, but there's no need to worry. It's all part of the show. Look forward to seeing you in the audience. Bye. Thank you, Michael. As well as a wicked stepmother, Cinderella also has two wicked stepsisters called Taylor and Skylar. And those are played by the lovely actors Alison and Julie. Let's meet them now. Hi everyone, my name is Alison McCormack and I play Taylor. And my name is Julie McGuire and I play Skylar. We are Cinderella's wicked stepsisters and we can be quite mean to Cinderella, Buttons and even each other throughout the performance. But please remember that this is us playing characters. Everything is make-believe and all of the actors are really good friends, so there's nothing to worry about. Would you like to see us dressed up as Skylar and Taylor? Wait, Wait here a second. second. We're, We're back. back. 
Look at our amazing full faces of makeup and our beautiful wigs with these colourful bows and our big puffy costumes. We sometimes pull funny faces, make funny voices and can be very, very bold. We can't wait to welcome you and your family to Cinderella. Bye! The show itself is divided into two different parts. There's Act 1 and Act 2, and in between, there's an interval. That's what we call a break, and it lasts for 20 minutes. During the interval, you're more than welcome to leave the auditorium, or you can stay inside if you prefer. If you need to go to the bathroom, the hand dryers will be turned off, because we know that some people can find the hand dryers too loud. At the very end of the performance, you will return to the main foyer where you first arrived and you'll be able to leave through the doors that you first entered through. We understand that for some people, it's really useful to have additional information about the show before you come to see it and to look back at afterwards. For this reason, Cork Opera House has specially developed a visual guide Within this visual guide, you will be able to find photographs from the Opera House, descriptions of the show and the actors, what to expect on the day, and you'll also find photographs of the actors in their costumes from the show. The relaxed performances are all about creating a space here at Cork Opera House so that everybody feels welcome and that everybody can enjoy this year's pantomime. So, if there's anything that we can do to help support you in having a happy and comfortable experience, please do let us know. We hope you enjoy the show.